surface spins here. Hey, thank you. This uh, video goes out in gratitude to my 400 plus subscribers. We hit a milestone. Hey, we went on a trip to Mill Valley, California and stopped at Mill Valley Music. Great little place. We were up there because we were visiting John Muir National Monument, which is an amazing place too. So we hit two great places on the same day. Uh, Mill Valley Music, small, compact place, overflowing with stuff. I found a couple of great items and the owner, I believe the owner proprietor, Gary, was so helpful. We had a great, great time. Uh, we were there just at closing. He stayed a few minutes later than the uh, listed hours. I looked through the stacks just to give you an idea. Of course, I went to the B section. A lot of Beach Boys. Uh, the store has lots of reissues. They have lots of record store day things. I thought this was the Carl and the Passions one with the uh, pet sounds, but it wasn't. A lot of current contemporary things and record store day stuff. A lot of new reissues as well as a mixture it's a good mixture of uh, vintage stuff and and new things so a really neat little place and i didn't have near enough time i need to go back and spend three hours and move boxes around and a great cd collection he's got a good number of jazz records rock uh, blues he's got great stuff uh, i recommend it if you're up in that up in that neck of the woods across the bay in Marin County. So had a good time there. Looking at the records at Mill Valley Music. And I did score one record that I have been looking for for a while now and have not located. So it was a, a good day for that. Uh, here's what I found at um, Mill Valley Music. I found some CDs, of course. I picked up uh, a blues CD, Bill Bronzy Volume 2 from that document series, document records where they do the chronological order of uh, the recording of the tracks. I have a few of those of different artists, but I didn't have this Bill Bronzy one. only found Volume 2. If I go back, I might be able to find the other volumes because he had a lot of CDs that were hidden. I couldn't get to them. Gary, the owner of the store, turned me on to Albert Ammons, a blues piano player. And this is a Blue Note recording. It's on CD. This I was recorded in 1939, so the fidelity is not totally perfect, but it, it still sounds great uh, to hear these early blues piano recordings. I picked up Steely Dan's uh, last album, Everything Must Go. I didn't have that in any shape or form, so I got that one. Although people say it's not their best album. Maybe they rank it as their worst album. I wanted to have it to complete the set of my Steely Dan. I think I'm pretty much there. The big find for me for the day was this one, Cucumber Castle by the Bee Gees in 1970. It only features uh, Maurice Gibb and Barry Gibb. Robin Gibb was not involved in this. And it's an amazing record. I checked it on different ranking sites. Ranker itself rates it at number 16 in their catalog. Ultimate Classic Rock rates it at number seven, six, uh, 16 also. Chaos Spin ranks it at number 8, Tristan Edelman ranks it at number 9, and the Roxborough Report ranks it at number 7. And then someone did a tier ranking of it and put it in the A group. It's a pretty incredible album. It's full of lush pop songs. Uh, you can see their, it's maybe their Sgt. Pepper, I don't know, but worth checking out, Cucumber Castle. The last one I found was Los Lobos, How Will the Lone Wolf Survive? I've never had a copy of this record before. It's one that, uh, you know, friends have had and I've heard before, but I've never owned my own copy, so I found a very nice, clean copy up there. And I thought very fairly priced. I think they were 7 and $8 each, so these are really good prices for these records, I feel. Anyway, 
very happy with Cucumber Castle. And some of the songs on Cucumber Castle, I mean, I, there's one song called The Lord that reminded me of a Clash song. There's another song called um, The Chance of Love that reminded me of kind of an Oasis ballad. Interesting tracks. Hey, Surface Spins, thank you so much and gratitude and respect. Surface Spins signing out. <laughs>